This tutorial is to discuss about a Python program to delete a set of elements from a list by specifying the index. Before writing the program, we will discuss the logic behind of this program. So first we created a list. The name of the list is A, which consists of four elements, 10, 20, 30 and 40. Now by using a for loop, we are able to create a different list. So here we have written b equal to i such that for every i we take from the list a. For i in a, we will take each individual element which is i from the list a and get stored into the list b. So you can see that the element of b and a both are same. Now for example, if you write c equal to i, where for every i it is the enumeration of a, enumerate of a. So when we write enumerate of a, it will store both the index and the value of the elements which is present in the list a. So it becomes the tuple which consists of the index and the element. So you can see the first tuple in list c is 0, 10 where 0 is the index and 10 is the number. In the next example, we have written x for every i, comma x in enumerate of a. So when we write for i, comma x, i will be the index and x will be the value from the list a. And we are storing only the x, that means the value into the new list d. So you can see that the d will be having only the values the same as a. In the next example, we are displaying only the elements at the eventh place by using an if condition. In the program, we take an integer number from the user that indicates the size of the list and gets stored into the variable n1. By using a print statement, we display the value as enter n1 number of values. Now the values which are entered should be the element of the new list which we have created. So we have written list1 equals input. Now each time when the input method is called, it will take one number from the user, one value from the user and get stored into the list one as its element. Now the input method will get repeated depending upon the for loop which we have written. So for i in range of n1. So range of n1 will give total n1 values from 0 to n1 minus 1. So the loop will get repeated for n1 number of times. So n1 number of values will be taken from the user because n1 number of times the input method will be executed and the element will get stored into the list 1. Another integer number n2 is initialized. It takes the value from the user that indicates how many elements to be deleted from the first list. The index of the elements which need to be deleted from the first list, list 1. We display the message by using a print statement under n2 number of indices. So n2 indicates the number of integers, how many number of values to be deleted from the list 1.
we create a set the name of the set variable is remove inside the set we have written an input method which is used to read a value from the user and the input method will read the data in the form of string and it will get converted into integer because of typecasting now how many times this input method will get executed that depends upon the for loop for i in range of n2 so depending upon the value of n2 the loop will get repeated for n2 number of times so n2 number of indices will be read from the user and it get converted into integer and stored into the variable remove so here remove indicates the set of indices which need to be removed from the user for example 0 second fourth and fifth or something any other elements to be removed from the list one so in this program first list one has created by taking the data from the user n1 number of data from the user similarly we have created a set which indicates a set of indices n2 number of indices that many number of elements to be removed from the list one in this program both the list and the set is not created by using the individual elements directly which are not static value which is taking from the user so the input method has been kept inside the list and inside the set and it get repeated depending upon the for loop which we have used now to remove a set of elements from the list one we have written a statement list2 equals the x a set of elements x for i comma x in enumerate of list1 so i comma x will be the individual elements from the list1 now all the elements from the list1 should not be kept inside the list2 now a set of elements which are at the place of i some of the i need to be removed now the elements to be removed is represented by a variable which is named as remove so we need to check a conditions that i is not in remove if i the index is there in the variable remove then those x will not be stored into the list 2. Thus the list 2 will consist of only the elements from list 1 whose index are not mentioned in the set remove. A new list will be created and it is stored into the variable list 2. All the values of list 1, the indices to be removed, which is removed, and the new list is which is created, which is named as list 2 by removing a set of elements from list 1, depending upon the index which is mentioned in the set remove, will be displayed. Execute and see the program output.
During the execution of this program, first we enter 10 values which will get stored into the list. Next we enter 4 indices value which need to be removed from the list. So the original list displays the set of values. And the next we are displaying the set of indices which should be removed from the list. So 0th value, 4th value, 6th and 8th value from the original list will be removed. So 0th value is 1. 4th value is 33. Sixth value is 5 and the eighth value is 10 which will be removed and will be displayed. Thank you for watching this video.